Hello everyone, welcome again and today I'm going to show you demonstration of the online boarding system in Spring Boot and Hibernate. Okay. Apart from, let's talk first about the technology, what the technology this project is using. It's using Spring Boot, uh, Hibernate, JPA and for the front end it's using HTML, CSS, Bootstrap, um, JSP, JSP and JST. Okay, now uh, how can you run this application? First thing, uh, so uh, if you have taken this project already from the code one or uh, you have taken the remote support, so remote team will do the configuration complete setup at your machine and will leave the, uh, that project in this condition, this state. Now you have to follow this demo to operate the application. So uh, here we have it uh, mysql database and into the database uh, it's using like uh, you know, tables are there so parties boot uh, parties and users and both both tables are there so if you view the data of the user table to view the data right click on the table click the first option you will get the complete data so these are the user id and the username <coughs> and the password so email id will be the password and here will be the sorry email id will be the user id and there is here is the password in the password column okay so uh first talk about that uh, like uh, some configurations that we are using some different tools that we are using here and then we'll run the application and we'll check the demonstration so this is the configurations controllers DAO details exceptions form services utilities here user application or property file that contain the confirmation of your database configuration and here under the SRC main Java web app resources, so uh, web INF, you have, we have all the JSPs and front end files. And it's using its Maven projects using form.xml here, so it's contain all the information of required dependency. So, in order to run the application, first uh, after the root for package, this is your only root package, and after that, we have a file online loading system application of Java right click on this file go to run it run it as a java application okay and after that make sure you are getting the message tomcat is started on a particular port number so but now okay you can see here h zero double eight uh, is a port number and it's showing the message here and it says tomcat is started on h zero eight eight so make sure you are getting this message it means the server is started successfully and what you need to do after that after that um, just create a url for that open your uh, uh, like browser so i'm using going to use a chrome browser so i'm going to run it one by one instance of my chrome browser and here just enter the local host and the port number on which your server is running in my case it's running on 08 if you are using the same code it will be used the same port number and after that you have to copy this context path so just copy this context path enter it here hit the enter you will get the project will load so uh, also if you are going to open this uh, application dot property file from the sources folder you will get one text here as a hashtag application if url and we I'm, I'm i'm adding it here so directly after running the application you can copy this url from here and just enter it your browser and after that you will see the project is launched and it's showing some messages let's let's talk what the operations we can perform here in terms of the functionalities okay so here, here is the home page like this is the welcome page and when you click the home page the same page will uh, opening here and do vote this is a dummy button so it, nothing will perform our way this is just a message we are showing a welcome message under the about section we are showing some about uh, about this total vote it means a user can check the vote list uh, that is done by the user and also here we have a portal login so into the login portal login we have multiple functionalities like uh, uh, as if you are a new user not an existing user of the application you can register it here by clicking on this new user registration if you are an admin you can register from here so let's try to add some invalid data here as a voter id so it will give a voter card is invalid so first thing you have to register 
as a user. So you know, first we are going to log in as an admin and see what admin can do. Then we'll move to the user. So where you will find the credential for the user. Again, you have to go to the user table, view the data of the user table. Here is the credential for the user admin and admin at the rate uh, is a password 123. And if you notice, we are using same table for the admin and the user. So how can you differentiate the things? If role ID here, the role name is admin other all the users are the users or a customer you can say the end users so i just enter the credential for the admin and i can see the multiple option again the about is there user list so admin can check the list of all the users also admin can perform the search operation search by email so uh, user can search the records by entering the email id and uh, when click on the reset admin can edit the records by clicking on this and just update i just updated the name and name is updated also admin can delete the record if required so by clicking this delete icon the record will be deleted add party under the add party section if there is a new party um, for the boarding party let's say i'm gonna enter a simple let's say anything hj uh, hjk and enter the precedent name and party edit successfully and then under the party list i can see the new party j jk is added also i can perform search operation here by search by party name and reset it i can edit it if required let's say i'm gonna add update the um, precedent name and here if you see the name is updated under the total board section, admin can check the board that is done by the users and under the border list, the user can check the list of the board that is done or that is done the board. So now in parallel in my private window, I am going to open uh, again that another instance of this application and going to log in as a new user and see what user can do and after that we'll see the changes that is going to happen in the uh, admin side so now uh, to register as a new user go to portal login now go to admin uh, sorry portal login new registration let's enter some dummy data so i just enter a dummy data let's see. Mm -hmm. that is gmail.com and the pass the phone number valid 10 digit number so it's using kind of validation so make sure while you're entering the data you are entering correct data and passwords i'm just using demo at the rate one two three enter a voter id number voter card number and enter the address dov so just select a random dov there is no validation of that in here anyone can vote so i just enter some data and click on save so user registration is done now if i refresh my user table i can see the new record with this name so this will be my username and this will be my password now what can i do uh here again may have option to log in as a voter so i just entered voter card number and i can do login over there or so but i can do what the user can do so what is my voter card number so this is the voter card number that i've just added so i just enter this border card and i submit and i can log in by the border id only and do board under the do board section like uh, this is the user so user here is the user and user cannot uh, perform the good operations or check all the things that can uh, only check by the admin so what a user can do user can only vote uh, for the parties so here uh, this is a disabled field so this is my voter id and here I can see the list of uh, all the parties that we have added. So recently we have just added J, uh, JK and I just board it. Okay, your board is done. I'd say it's your board is done. And now if I go to my uh, original window and I check the admin record, the data is updated here. The new board is done by this for this party. And if I check the total boards, so one count again got in this party. So this in this way the count is in case anything. And Again, if I come to the user section and I, let's say this user want to vote again, but it will not allow. Sorry, vote is allowed only once and you already use this voter card number. So for each voter card, they are using um, 
validation so uh, user can only vote once not only single party if this user going to vote onto another party it will give a uh, like validation message okay uh, so then so for the next time we have to use another users so let's try with another voter id now uh, this should be a unique so i'm going to use this one and let's uh, vote for other user for other party i'm, I'm going to give a uh, vote to this party again so vote is done for next time it's giving me a validation message i just move to the admin sign when i refresh the result page so for this party the vote is two now okay so uh that's it and uh, i'm going to log out from admin and i'm going to log out from the user so this is the complete flow of this application and whenever you want to stop it just uh, stop the server from here automatically server will start and next you can run it here now let's come to the point and if you need the source code complete setup configuration at your machine we have multiple services and it's obviously it's a paid service so you can inquiry over the whatsapp over the skype or over the mail just give it inquiry we'll say the complete detail how can you grab this code and how we are going to help you to uh, set up this code at your machine so we have a complete remote team they are going to connect you via zoom or any desk and they will do the complete setup at your machine in case you need explanation the service is also available so just give it inquiry thank you